those of you watching this later on YouTube, welcome back to my studio. It has been a long time since I have posted on YouTube. There are parts one and two of this painting are already posted. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this part three, which I think will be the conclusion to this 24 by 36 skyscape. Hi, Christine. Welcome. Hope you're doing okay on this gray, dismal, rainy spring day. Hello. I'm trying to share. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Linda. Welcome. Mama. Hey, Christine. Hey, you guys. Share this with your friends if you don't mind. We do have the YouTube channel back up and going. <clears throat> Parts one and two are up on the YouTube channel. We haven't really edited them yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that'll come later, but my friend Charles has kindly stepped up and he's helping out. So that's great. We're good. We're good. It's just a, we're both still sore from all the yard work over the last two days. And doing nothing but eating. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't done much of anything today. Well, I did get a lot done with the YouTube channel, so that was a good thing. Go ahead and start getting set up here. I don't need to be sitting down, but I'm going to just start with. I'll get up and move later. Get some cool gray on the palette. This is our basic sand color. Get some of that going. <clears throat> I'm going to use both blue and umber to shade the grass with, or the sand with, excuse me. Pamela Ware's here. Hey, Pamela. Pamela, are you still stuck in Spain? Whether you are there or here, we're glad you're here in the studio today. On the home stretch of this painting, we should be finishing it up today. I'm going to put in a few touches of the that melon color we've been playing with. <clears throat> now, I did, just before we went on the air, Kind of deleted out the, the sun I had over there. It was too much. I didn't want that much. That's the only real change here. So let's get a little bit more of this color shot in. Kimberly Galliard. Hey Kim, welcome. Galliard. Galliard. Uh huh. All right, just shooting in a little bit of that <clears throat> melon color into our water. I got to remix the C color, <clears throat> which is thalo blue which has been grayed down a little bit and sap green. So let's get a little sap green back on my palette here. Me and mom is having a heart war. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to use different 
bright for this one. Let's get a little water going. <clears throat> so wherever you are today, I hope that you're safe and that you're healthy and that your loved ones all are. I hope you're using the time that we have in a beneficial way. That's an annoying noise, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> right off the jump. Raymond Ray's here. Hi, Raymond. Welcome to the studio. Glad to have you. All right, let me uh, get a little titanium white. We're going to work our ocean a little bit before we jump down here to the beach. And I've got to get white tomorrow. I need to not let me forget. Because this is about it for that tube. Hey, Ginger. Ginger Fletcher is here. Hi, Ginger. She is um, Sally's niece, okay. Angie's cousin. All right. Well, welcome to the studio. Glad to have you. Raymond says, looking good, my man. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Ginger says your painting is beautiful. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> We're going to work in a little bit of this green, gray, blue color and littler, smaller strokes. To break up some of this melon color. And we're not worried. I don't do a whole lot of blending uh, with most of my brush work. I like it to be very raw. So these, this is just throwing it on there. Let it be where it is. Let it do what it does. Leah Lavise is here. Hi, Leah. Welcome. William Intrican. Darlene Claxton. Hey, Darlene. William, great to have you, Bill. Uh, Freddie, uh, Freddie Green. Hey, Freddie. Welcome. I was just over at La Isla looking at your uh, Andy and me painting, Bill. I love that thing. That's a great painting. Raymond Ray wants to know how to purchase. Uh, just PM me, Raymond. Uh, send me a private message and I'll get with you. Be glad to. And I hope everybody, again, I hope everybody's safe and comfortable. I hope your loved ones are good. When we said grace today for our meal, we made sure we prayed for all our loved ones and friends, family. Be safe and healthy. <clears throat> Raymond said will do. All right, Raymond. Bill, I hadn't heard back from Horn and Meek. I did talk to uh, Dr. Gooden about <coughs> donating a piece to, uh, to a museum. And he said he would think about it on a temporary basis. So we'll, we'll just have to see where it goes from there. <laughs> Not like a gallery show is going to happen right now anyway, is it? <laughs> Christine says, love Andy and me too and all the others. Oh, yeah. Mama says, Pollen has her feeling bad, yeah. Oh, man. It's yeah. awful. I can imagine. All right, let's play around a little bit here and just start... Chunking in a little bit of that's a little too dark. Oh, just kind of some some dimples in the sand here. Just choppy little strokes. We'll go back over that darkest part. Is it just me or you guys that have been to the beach? Do you like the sound your feet make when you walk in the sand? That, that almost inaudible squeak. It's a happy sound to me because I love being at the beach. All right. Yeah. Now we're looking at something. Let 
this uh, this particular part of the painting, a, a, a lot of artists, myself included, we get bored very easily with doing the minutia, the, the little things. Not necessarily detail, but it's little and it's tedious. We were talking about Christine yesterday painting the leaves in a painting that are on a forest floor. It can be rather monotonous. So you got to kind of go into a zone and you'll get there. Wayne Butler's here. Hey, William, welcome, buddy. Mama said Daddy's maintaining a six-foot distance from her. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Tommy. <laughs> and that has nothing to do with the virus, by the way. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> I know, I'll pay for these jokes later. I know. But, you know? <laughs> for right now, you got to take what you can get. <laughs> So if you guys are watching this later on YouTube when I post it, be sure to leave me a thumbs up, a like, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be painting every day, posting every day. The first two uh, sessions of this painting have been posted. So if you want to go back and look at those, you are they are available for you to do so. <coughs> Susan Davis is here. Hey, Susan. Love you, girl. Did I put my Dr. Pepper over there? No, here it is. Mama <clears throat> says it's just allergies. Watch it, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't scared of you. As long as you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Butler says nice. Thank you, Wayne. Appreciate you. Let's keep this nice kind of tapioca color going here. And occasionally I'm dipping into the blue just to get a little touch of blue. <clears throat> James Bateman. Hey, Jim. Welcome, buddy. Um, as Monet said, do not tell me there is no color in shadow when I have stood here and seen it for myself. <laughs> so we we put color in shadow. Here I am trying to lecture. Be all serious. <laughs> Sorry. Tasty's busting a gut laughing. What are we laughing at? <laughs> Mama says, oh, yeah, look out your window. <laughs> <laughs> She's fixing to start throwing toilet paper at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch it. We'll sell it for a profit. Jim wants to know, can you add a sand castle? Absolutely, Jim. You just come right on down here to the house and we'll get right on that. What? You don't, You can't put a sand castle in there? There will be no sand castles. There in will be no sand castles. <laughs> Let's just end that line of conversation right now. <laughs> Crazy people. Freddie says, lovely piece. I'm going to watch the first two. Thanks for sharing. All right, Freddie. My pleasure. Steve Ford here. Hey, hi Steve. We uh, you want to work even when you're doing something as tedious as this. Work all over your canvas. Don't get married to just one spot. And the reason being, your your paintwork will be inconsistent throughout the painting, and we don't want that. So we work throughout. So work all over the. <clears throat> work all over your work and remember to get your distance keep checking your your work from a distance ideally uh, painters you want to do it from the distance from which it will be viewed now I'll pick up a little bit of white and go into my cool gray can put in a little highlight Jim says here's a pitch for your next video do a self-portrait no, sir. No, sir. Oh, my gosh. Why would anybody want that? Um, <clears throat> our light is coming from here, so we're going to put in some lighter spots in the sand on this side. And our little sand down here. And I'm not going to go too crazy out to the side. We're going to have some big patches of sawgrass growing out here. Bill, how are things down on the coast today? Wayne says, what's your YouTube channel so he can subscribe? Christopher Blaylock Fine Art. Same as it is on my 
Facebook and uh, other places. <laughs> I forget where right now. My Instagram, all of it. And I love that. Thank you very much for doing that. It may, it matters, and it means a lot. Jim says, if you put on one of those giant pots of coffee, I'll head my way south. Come on, brother. Come on. Come on. Mama says self-portrait and gives laughy faces. Yeah. Freddie says, oh, wow, now there's a path. <laughs> <laughs> yep. She said, this is like watching magic. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Painting is a is kind of a magical thing. You're creating a whole world in there. And I really, truly enjoy every step of the process. Even the priming of the canvas. I mean, everything about it. If you're passionate about your art, it'll show in your work. It'll also show in your work ethic in the way that you... How much time do you spend painting? <clears throat> I'm going to lecture a little bit. This is more for my YouTube audience and for... Uh, up-and-coming painters. There's no substitute for painting. No amount of study, watching videos, tutorials, whatever, is ever going to replace just doing the work. I tell all of my students, you know, I, there's one very, very young student. She's only 16. I'm not going to call any names. But, you know, she gets a little bit frustrated because her paintings don't look like a masterpiece after, you know, one or two brush strokes. <laughs> And I tell her, like I tell everyone, it takes that first hundred paintings for you to even begin to develop your style and to get your groove on. So you got to be patient with yourself, but you got to do the work. The, you know, there are shortcuts. If you're one of those people that were just born with the ability uh, and you're, a, you're an artistic genius, then you just rock on. <clears throat> but not everybody is. That's an interesting topic, too, by the way, that I did a whole other video on. You can find it on my channel on YouTube on is talent a bad thing and the answer is no but you got to kind of define what is talent talent is simply the ability to, to produce something without all the intervening steps of experience and training in other words it just comes out of nowhere and you can be born with a talent for learning which is what I think I have you can be born with the talent to do or you can have neither and you can still be a great painter because you put in the hours, you put in the work. Mr. Intrican says it's it beautiful, Chris, and very warm. Oh, wow. Jim asks, where are the seagulls? Then he says, or eating those crayons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jim, anytime you get ready to come on up for a visit, come on. I'll give you Scoob's room. <laughs> Scoob's coming before long for a visit. <clears throat> um, yeah, I wish I was on the coast right now, Bill. I really do. <laughs> if you got to be quarantined, may as well be somewhere beautiful, right? <laughs> All right, you can see just by adding choppy brushwork that we're getting a nice texture here in the foreground. And this will uh, help pull the viewer's eye into and through the painting. And it's just all very simple. It's not hard. It becomes a little instinctive after a while. Grab a little blue. I want to shoot some blue in here. Just a little. Choppity chop. Because I'm kind of, I want to kind of lose the horizon, or not the horizon, but the, uh, the line between this, the words, between the dune and the water. I don't want it to be very stark. I want all my stark contrast to be over here on the horizon. <clears throat> now, let's start shooting in some sawgrass. Jim says I'll try and drag Scoob along. That's a good idea. You guys come on down, man. We'll do coffee after the quarantine's over, everybody. Don't panic. We're not talking about doing it now. <laughs> Yeah, when the quarantine's over, you guys got to come for a visit. I'm not happy with this. Let's get a little bit of that sea color. He says I'm sure he would be up to a visit. Oh yeah, I know. He would. 
Scoob and Jim are both two of the nicest gentlemen I know. Proud to call them friends. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to grab some ready-made color. What is this? That's olive green. We'll use olive green. All it is is sap green with a little bit of brown in it. So I'm going to put it right next to my sap green. And let's start shooting in some of this sawgrass, kind of scrubby beach growth. Let's do a little bit. Let's, <coughs> let's find some living right here. I'm going to go into the brown. Can't say what's your favorite cigar. Um, Arturo Fuentes, the little bullets, I enjoy those. And Rocky Patel, the uh, 07 Reserve is really good. <clears throat> I typically like a, a blonde better, but they give me heartburn. So I've been uh, I've been playing with other stuff, and that's where I found the Arturo Fuentes. Whoops, wrong color. There we go. What about you? Jim, was that Jim asking me about the yeah. cigar? Jim, what are you smoking? Miss Kathleen McGinn is here. Hey Kathleen. Welcome, welcome. I'd love to play some background music while we're painting, but I'll get a copyright strike from Facebook if I do, and YouTube. <clears throat> I was doing a street painting, and music playing in the background got me a copyright hit. Like, are you serious? I didn't play the music. It was just there. A little bit of blue. A little bit of our brown. Am I in the way? Uh-uh. Okay. Let's get some going on this side. Remember what I said. I take my own advice. We'll work all over the canvas. Jim says not cigars, I'm afraid, but I'm a camel guy. All right, all right, all right. Camel was my stick when I was uh, in 2nd Marine Division. I knew all the jokes with the pack, you know. Run around the corner during the sandstorm, find the monkey and the guys hitting the camel's hip. did a painting decades ago of a beach scene and I put in a couple of sisters, young girls <clears throat> holding hands walking to the beach, reflected in the water and everything and I didn't think much about it at the time but when I sold it I almost regretted it immediately. I was sort of missing that painting <laughs> it was like, you know, I really wanted to do a couple of versions of that and uh, I could do it again but it wouldn't be exactly the same style uh, but I sure would like to have that opportunity. I may do that again on our next live. I don't know. We'll finish this one today, probably. And uh, then we'll just see where we're at for what we do tomorrow. We're going to be painting daily all through the quarantine to give us all a little break from the, the cares and concerns of what's going on out there in the world. Now, painters, you want to, on the edge of your painting, you want to have a stopper, a visual stopper, because in Western culture, we read from right to left, top to bottom. You don't want the viewer's eye to slide right off the painting. So you, you create a little interest, a hard interest here on the edge. And that holds them in. Holds the viewer's attention in the painting. 
Jill wants to know if that will all slick your painting now. <laughs> yes, that's that's what it is. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Gotta go hang myself now. <laughs> then he says he got hooked while deployed. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I was watching that guy. That there's a guy that has a YouTube channel where he tastes MREs and survival rat military rations from all over the world at all different time periods. And uh, he found several of the pre-1972 ones that still had the Pall Malls and the Camels in the accessory packs. All right, that's looking pretty good. I can't believe he eats that food. Uh, he eats it, y'all. He opened a, I don't know how it was canned, but it was a hardtack from the Boer War during the Victorian era, and he ate it. Mm. I mean, I could barely eat MREs <laughs> when they were fresh. Some of them were okay. The chicken a la king, we called it, puke in a bag, was not very popular. But like the dehydrated pork patty, the dehydrated beef patty, the barbecue franks and beans was okay. Oh, he says, are you referring to the Russian guy, the one who tests the MRE? No, he's not he, Russian. He's American, isn't he? Yeah, it's Steve and some numbers. I, Steve 1257 or something. I think it's his MOS. I don't know from when he served. But no, not the, not the Russian cat. I think I know who you're talking about. It's not that guy. All right, we're dabbing some tops on some of these. There's a bird outside my window that's just going to town. Mm -hmm. He's happy about something. I hear <clears> kids <throat> outside playing there. Mm -hmm. All right, gonna grab a little bit of my brown, a little bit of the sap green, and some of the blue. Let's play around up here in the foreground a little bit. Using a slightly different brush stroke up here. <clears throat> so that the work doesn't become monotonous as it comes down toward the foreground. Hey, honey, when we're back here, do you ever feel like the dogs are out there getting into stuff they shouldn't? Yeah, I'm thinking right now they need to go outside. Uh, I think that's, <gasps> I'm thinking that's a good idea. <laughs> that might need to happen. <coughs> we know our dogs, y'all. They're like, hey, mom and dad aren't around. Let's get into something. Yeah. Hey, what, what what's the chances of some coffee happening, honey? That's why you asked, ain't it? Well, no, but it's, it seems like a good opportunity to, to, to take advantage of the situation. <laughs> I posted my article, my blog that I wrote, about the essentials of painting that they don't sell at the art store. And you better believe coffee's on that list. It's not even it's not even debatable. It's not up for discussion. I've got some Thalo Blue watered down very thin. I can't pick up the palette to show you because it would actually spill out. But that way I can play it as a wash or as a paint. And if you guys have any questions or comments about the art or painting or art in general, just post them. I'm glad to answer them. I can, uh, to the best of my ability, I can walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. <clears throat> now, in order for this sand here to actually be a path, <clears throat> you got to have some, some uh, dark under the light. So don't panic when you see me doing this wash. We're just giving a little bit of something for the highlights to play off of. Very watered down. Thalo blue and sap green. A touch of raw umber. Just to get something on here. So the highlights have a place to hang in there. We're not deleting, deleting the path. Got a little brown here. 
here. Now I do want the beach to come right on out here, so I'm going to bring that cool gray out into the water just a little. There we go. A little more. There we go. That's the ticket. All right. Just working over this side a little bit. Anybody been fishing <clears throat> during this time? Because I've got a strong urge to go fishing. I'm scared I'm going to find a bunch of... I mean, you know, it's the apocalypse and everything. If I go out there, somebody going <clears> to <throat> try to shoot me for my, for my brim? <laughs> Certainly hope not. All right, that's looking good. When I was a younger painter, I could never figure out how to paint the ground. It was the hardest thing to me. Trees, clouds, water, all that stuff kind of came easy. <clears throat> but painting the ground was always disturbing to my little brain, but I finally figured it out. It's the same as anything else. It's just a shape. Just like anything we do in painting, it's just a shape. Cindy Long is here. Hey, Cindy. Welcome. All right. Let me get back over here and keep working on my foreground. Again, the color over here is sap green, phthalo blue, and raw umber. And just mix your brush strokes up. Mix up your brushwork. Keep it random. Nature is very, very random. So what's everybody doing today? I cooked. Yeah, you did. Oh, we had a good meal. <laughs> we had a late breakfast, but it was a pork chop and egg breakfast with homemade biscuits and gravy. Woo, y'all. A woman can cook. She just don't like to. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fair to say that you do a pretty good job at it, honey. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go into that same dark color I'm using over here. And we're going to go onto the horizon out here. Now, I do want to green it up just a little bit. We're going to put in some, some old sawgrass living on this horizon out here. There we go. And then I'm going to really darken up the next pass. Just a little spot of it darker there. Chip Hidalgo. Hey Chip, what's up big man? Welcome to my studio. Thank you for hanging out. Sorry if I can't say y'all's names. I'm do I try. It's alright. <laughs> you guys also <clears throat> keep in mind we will be painting every day, six o'clock through the quarantine. Because we, you know what, we all need a little distraction from the harsh realities out there right now. And I think things are going as well as they can go. I don't think there's a whole lot to panic about. We just gotta be smart, do the right things for the right reasons, care about our loved ones and keep our faith and we'll be fine. So that thus ended the sermon. The guys, by the way, <clears throat> there is a, I'm going to throw a link in the comment box for my Patreon. If you feel 
so inclined. If you're getting some quality out of the out of the videos that we do, and you want to become a, a patron of the arts, then I certainly invite you to do so. We've got five different tiers that we can participate in, and I'll link that for you here in just a minute. Meanwhile, while I was talking, some cool stuff's happening with my paintbrush, and I really like that. <laughs> Let me Joseph get... Merritt's here. Hey, Joseph. What's up, Double Dog? This is a little too much brown right there. I'm going to soften that up. Some of the olive green. There we go. Much better. I'll probably revisit that again. That's the beautiful thing about painting with acrylics and, and fast layers. You can do that sort of thing. I don't like this. Let's get rid of that. There we go. <clears throat> now, in order for this path to, to really stand, I'm going to leave a, a, a good bit of the just raw sand in here, but I also need to kind of indicate some darker tones down here, whether it's wet sand or sawgrass, don't know yet. I don't name things, I just paint. And don't name it. This is a big tip, especially when you're first starting out. You know, uh, and, and I teach this to my younger artists, and I don't mean young in age, I mean young in experience. Don't say I'm painting an apple, because you're not. You're putting paint on a canvas to represent an apple. What you should say to yourself is, I'm just painting this particular shape. If it's a sphere, if it's a cone, if it's a, a rectangle, whatever, a cube, whatever it may be. That's all we're painting. Just these shapes. And if you do that and you're not too married to it's an apple or it's a whatever, then you, you, you won't find, you'll find yourself not being enslaved to what you're painting. Uh, oh, it doesn't look like an apple, therefore I must stink at this. No, no. Don't name it. Just have fun with it. And remember, it's just paint. Nobody's going to die. Only the Joker did it. Remember, remember that in Batman 89? I'm the world's first practicing homicidal artist. I make art until somebody dies. Well, we're not doing that. <laughs> is that me shaking the world or is that you, honey? No, I was putting my cigarette out. Oh, okay. All right, that's good contrast over there. I'm going to actually add a little bit more. Let's, let's do a little more of that because it's working really well for a stopper over here on the edge. Just tapping the brush lightly, creating the illusion of detail with all respect to the great Stuart Davies. Borrowing his line, the illusion of detail, because that's what it is. We're going to pick up some of that shadow color. Bring it down. There we go. All right, then over here, I'm going to kind of scrub in some of this green and then play on top of it with brown and blue. And while it's still wet... I'll come right on top of it with our cool gray, or actually this is warm gray, excuse me. And it's self-blending because it's wet on wet. And just soften it just a little bit. Yeah, and you're just having fun, you hear them? They are having a good time out there. <laughs> All right, now. No, not dark enough. I'm going to go. I want green to be seen right here, that olive green. So I'm going to 
darken this, let it dry for a second, and then I can put that lighter color green in front of it. So let's get over here. Keep working. But it looks like you're scribbling. I am scribbling. What's wrong with scribbles? <laughs> Great artwork starts off with scribbles. Paint without fear. Paint without fear. If you keep in mind that there's nothing happening on a painting that you can't change, because it's your painting, then your paintings will just absolutely take off. It frees you. It's liberating. Kathleen says, this is gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much, Kathleen. I really appreciate it. And you guys feel free to uh, pop over to Christopher Blaylock Fine Art on Facebook. That's my Facebook store. I have plenty of work there. Um, <clears throat> and I have photos of some of my newer work that I have not yet posted, so i got to get those up for you. Let's put a little bit of interest right here. Just using the corner of the brush. Pull across. It's not art till you put your finger in it. Or lick it. If you're Christine, you have to lick it. <laughs> Christine, are you still here? Or are you eating your art? I think she, well, she was here. She was here. Or is she off? That girl eats paint, y'all. I'm just telling you. Pop in a little bit of sage grass, not sage, sage colored sawgrass down here. Or seagrass. I should I should be saying seagrass because sawgrass is a very specific kind of seagrass. Alright. And then some of it just kind of wandering out here onto the path. I haven't gotten up to look at this in a minute. So I'm going to because you have to dance with it if you want it to look right. And I do want it to look right. Too crispy right there. Let's soften that up so. <coughs> soften the underside of this vegetation a little bit. All right. Looking good, looking good. Come over that with some highlight color. Wait, it's so quiet in my studio. It's never this quiet. <laughs> unless I'm home by myself. Usually they got music going. The dogs are... Scratching, licking, huffing, puffing, snoring, whatever. I don't usually let the animals in my studio because, believe me, you don't want to pick animal hair out of a painting. <laughs> that, that can be a little on the bad side. But here lately, I've let Snook come in some, and he does pretty good. He stays out of the way and minds his own business, just curls up and takes a nap. Listen to those kids. I, know. 
I could, I listen. I love the sound of children playing. I don't know I could, where they're playing at. I could sit out there and listen to that though. They're That's, having fun. They are. They're having a ball. All right. <laughs> Christine keeps getting booted or what? She'll be here, then she'll be gone. Then she'll be here, then she'll be gone. Oh, might be having internet issues. How many of y'all are thankful we have an internet during something like this, though? Right? Yeah. Being able to communicate with friends and family without having to <coughs> make every one of them an individual phone call. All right, I'm going to grab some of just the raw sand color again, and let's, uh, let's play with the footpath some. No, I didn't put enough contrast in the path, so let me do that first. Let's get some of our blue. <laughs> Christine said attention span issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I totally believe that. What I'm doing right now, guys, is a technique called glazing. Using a very thin coat of a color just to change a tint so that I can come in right on top of it with a thicker sand color and it will make the path much more believable. Notice I didn't say realistic. It's all realistic, but believable. I hope the camera can show this. I would love to have a better quality camera. Again, if you would consider being a Patreon, that's where the money for the Patreon goes, is into camera, lighting, sound, so we can make better quality videos. I think entry level on the Patreon is as low as $5, and it goes on up. Now, starting to look like a little pathy path. And because we want it to be wider, as it comes close to us, atmospheric perspective, we cut it on in. Now, grab a little white, titanium white, mix it in with our sand color. And that gives us a little bit, <coughs> a little bit of a highlight in the sand. Christine says, not painting along right now, waiting for it to be posted to YouTube. Too difficult by phone. I understand. He got the first two. Yeah, the first two are up on the page, or on uh, YouTube, excuse me. Y'all, this is so relaxed. I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would. She said, cool. <laughs> cool, cool. Are you cooling at me? How's everybody's kids doing with all this? Are they just having a good old time, not really worried about it? Just a little more white. something there's always a moment in a painting when you cross a threshold and you know oh yes now I've got it there it is it's like being on an airplane when you know it's coming in to land uh -oh. <laughs> mama says she thinks her kids are doing pretty damn good <laughs> <laughs> Have a 
little bit of growth down here. Christine says, my kids are working. Rachel's doing school remotely for her students, and the boys are working from home, too. Yeah. My son has been has been kind of cute. He's checking on Dad, checking on Tacy, making sure we're okay. It's been very sweet. He's a good boy. He's a pretty good old kid. I may keep him. <laughs> Get a little bit of the sap green, a little bit of raw umber, and just kind of put in some some darkity dark over here. The bronchitis just ain't left yet, and. Mm. The pollen is getting me. Uh, you know, yeah, it's, it, if it ain't one thing, it's another, right? Mama said, what's that called? <laughs> oh, you know, tuberculosis, emphysema, COPD. And Don't stuff. tell her that. All the usual. <laughs> Just the usual. <coughs> All right. No fever, no nothing like that. I'm okay. And some of it, I'm telling on her, uh, Linda, is staying up and watching a TV show all night. <laughs> no, that ain't yeah. made me cough. Yeah, it made you <laughs> tired and, and weaker. Yeah. <laughs> the show, uh, Billy Bob Thornton, Goliath. It's really good, really well written. The actors were cast very well. And they do a really good job in it. We've been enjoying it. Christine says no kids have come by. She can't get hers to pick up his mail. <laughs> Mama said behave, Christopher. <laughs> I thought I were. I'm being good. Charles is here. Hey, Charles. Welcome, my friend. You guys, I got to give a huge shout out to Charles. Uh, He's responsible for the uploading of my videos to YouTube. He took that on for me, and he's done great. He got two done in the time I would have finished part of one today. So, Charles, welcome. Glad to have you as always. Thank you. We both appreciate it. We are not far from none now. I do need to get up and get away from it and look at it. Which I'm going to do right now. There's part of the lower horizon that I still want to work with, but I wanted to get the beach shot in. Excuse me. Let me step back and look at this thing. Oh yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. What do you think, honey? Mm -hmm. Now, y'all got to know. Tacy does not give me artistic feedback, except... Because she's not artistic. Two statements. She'll say, looking good, which means keep working, it ain't there yet. Or she'll say, pretty. And if she says pretty, I know I'm done. So, I've learned to read that one. Until the one day she actually came out of left field and said a boat and went on painting look like a fish. It did. And I died a little death right there on the spot. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Christine says it's beautiful. Thank you so much, Christine. All right. Need some more work down here. So, let's do that right <coughs> now. That's the benefit of standing up and looking. You can see what it needs. Mom and Christine are both telling Charles thank you. Yeah, and Charles <laughs> is a great guy, y'all. Superhuman. Been friends a lot of years. Mama says love it.
he's probably ready. All right. I hope everybody's doing good today. I, uh, I'm doing good. I've been blessed that so far my family is safe and I'm so thankful for that. I, I do worry about them. I just don't tell them that because it'll go to their heads. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got wonderful kids, a great stepdad, great sisters. Lots of wonderful, wonderful friends that I am blessed to have. And this area down here is bothering me, y'all. Right here. We just need to not play around with it. Let's get after it. There we go. And then give it a little bit of love with some of the green there we go all right there we go we're gonna get this area right here you want this darker <clears throat> so that I can put some lighter shrubbery in front of it. So I'm gonna go just for my darkest dark, which is always gonna be phthalo blue and raw umber. There we go. Now, when that dries, in just a moment, we will put some of that lighter color uh, grass in there and it'll stick. Well, let's play some more with that darkest dark in here just create texture and shadow well looking good looking good thank you darling Woo, i got hot coffee y'all somebody loves me <laughs> i love that you can't paint without coffee, y'all. All right. I'm going to go back into my titanium white and the cool gray, or the warm gray, excuse me. Make a little more of my highlight color. Mama says she wants to see you paint barns and silos. You did one with a barn in it, I think, didn't you? I've done a few with barns in them. Yeah. I did one out of, that was a photograph a friend of mine took from the, the great rolling plains of Wyoming uh, with a barn and a, and a uh, the windmill. Christine says today whizzed by, evening came too early. It did go by fast. It, it? it has gone quickly today. It certainly has. Mama says great super mom. What's that mean? <laughs> Wait, I'm lost. You must have said something. Wrong. I'm always bragging on you, so yeah. Um, Susan says that's gorgeous. Thank you, Susan. And she also says we'll have to do a YouTube paint along. Mm-hmm. Oh, she was talking to Christine. I guess them two doing oh. following yours. Okay. Wait, that's how they're going to get out of coming to class. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're using the videos. Christine tells her you know it. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Mama said you were talking about your great family. Yes, yes, and I have a wonderful mother-in-law. Christine. And father-in-law. Telling Susan to bring PJs. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. All right. I need a little darker right here. We we'll, we'll also need some light mm -hmm. in there. So let's let's put some highlights breaking through down here. Look at that, y'all. Boom. Boom. Yeah. All right. And then a little bit more 
that same mojo over here on the other side. too crazy with it but enough to show the light peeking through all those big old clouds over there go back into my dark counter shade just a little and let them blend going to grab my one inch cloud brush otherwise known as a stiff nylon hardware store cheapo brush they're the best things for making clouds in the world there it is old ratty old thing gonna do just a little bit of work here in the clouds Just to soften the edges up a little bit of this horizon. It's a little too harsh right now. And that's not the goal. We want the background to be soft. You actually have to get paint on the brush though. For it to work. Just a little bit. Y'all, I was doing one last year. I kid you not. The same kind of thing. And without looking, I dipped right into my sap green and made myself a big old sap green cloud. I'm here to tell you. <clears throat> now, again, it's just paint and I fixed it. But you talk about a shock. <laughs> I scared myself. I get a little bit of my orange. A little bit of my blue. Mix. Uh-oh. I said a little bit of my blue. about the noise guys part of the process <clears throat> I asked Charles earlier honey what he was doing for supper ask me what he said what he said he said something out of a can <laughs> <laughs> So come on down when this is over. We'll get a good hot meal together. Uh, I'm trying to hold this without blocking the view. Want to soften this up just a little bit here. To do that. It seems counterintuitive, but I'm going lighter so I can go a little bit darker while that's still wet. Go into the thalo blue. Make soft edges instead of hard edges. Hope you guys can see how that works. <clears throat> it took me a lot of years to, <clears throat> to figure out that that was a thing that you could do. It's like, I want this to be darker, well, then make something lighter under it. focus the eye here so we're gonna really brighten up this particular piece of cloud <clears throat> there we go 
and then just kind of play it a little bit on down. just about there. It's almost time to call it good. Not quite. I got to stop the edge all the way across. Where'd that color go? I lost the color I was using. Well, thank you so much. That is quite a compliment. I appreciate it. Andrew Patrick Henry is here. Hey, Andrew. Fantastic artist, this guy. You guys have the opportunity to check him out. Andrew, any artist in my, on my stream, always feel free to link your own stuff in my channel. I'd love to see other artists succeeding. All right. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Are we done? I'm ready to call it done. Yep, I win. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> Except for right here. <laughs> At the end of every painting, I go through this process. I'm done except for this. I'm done except for this. A little bit of a dark blue. Just when Kathleen brought up balance, and sure enough, we need a little bit right here. Just be a little darker to lead the eye down into the painting from the upper right. Mama said it's beautiful. Thank you so much, Linda. There we go. Christine says done. I agree, Christine. The trick is knowing when to put your brush down and walk away, folks, and that is a winner. All that's left for me to do is varnish this, and I promise to start to finish, but trust me, that's a boring process, and I have to lay it down flat. You wouldn't be able to see it anyway, and then sign it, and it'll be done. <coughs> <coughs> so, what time is it, y'all? Andrew says go team. <laughs> Thank you. 7.03. All right, we're going to call this one done for today. Now, tomorrow, we're, I'm going to keep working on, uh, tomorrow what I want to do is I'm doing a commission right now, and it's only about 40% done, so I'm going to keep working on it online so you guys can see what it's like when I'm working on something that's being dictated to me what I have to paint. A little bit of a different approach, but not much so if you approach it with confidence and you know what you're doing. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing tomorrow. And I hope you will tune back in. Join us again, 6 o'clock tomorrow. We'll be live streaming every day. If you feel so inclined, go to patreon.com, put in my name, and you can become a patron. Sorry, I'm distracted because I need a cloud right here. Andrew says, whatever you think, man, you the man. <laughs> hmm. We just needed to be a cloud right here is what I thought. So we put one there. All right. <clears throat> um, we love you. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay at home and don't lick doorknobs and you'll be fine. We love you. See you guys tomorrow. God bless you. <clears throat>